Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today I'm going to show you how to make uh, spent casings and empty shotgun shells for your displays and dioramas. Um, I've got several versions of the shotgun shells um, and really just one version of the spent casings. Uh, so I'll show you how to make them. Um, all of these are really easy to make as well as really cheap to make, um, and I'll show you um, exactly um, how to make um, all of them. So uh, first off, the spent casings here, um, they're little tiny um, brass colored metal pieces that actually come from Papermate mechanical pencils like this one here. If it will focus, you can see uh, just a super cheap mechanical pencil. Um, so what I do typically is I, I'll, I'll buy the pencils, I'll use them, and then whenever I'm done, you unscrew this little cap here and if you push down at the end of the pencil like this, this will pop out. You can just snip this little piece of plastic here um, and that'll come off and then you can see the little brass colored piece uh, separates from the plastic. Um, obviously, you have to cut up a ton of pencils uh, to get this many um, and that's not you know necessarily cheap, but in my opinion, if you use the pencil first, uh, you would normally just throw it away at the end. Um, so if you cut that little extra piece out, you're just getting more value um, out of the thing that you've bought. Now the uh, shotgun shells are pretty much the same thing. Um, just take one of these pencils here. I think these may also be produced by Papermate, um, but a ton of them use the same design. And you just pull off this cap here. Now as you can see, here's the little black piece. Um, again, if you push down at the end of the pencil, that pops out and then you can just cut it out um, as you can see it is a separate piece from this little thinner black uh, piece um, and then you can and cut it out same thing you do have to get a lot of mechanical pencils um, but if you're in school or something a lot of these will end up on the floor uh, anyway and I'll use those a lot to um, get these little pieces now for the shotgun shells uh, you can just display the, um, the shells like this where there's no brass, there's no paint involved. Um, I do that a lot. Um, most of these um, that I use are for uh, Halo displays, and because that takes uh, place in a science fiction universe, I think it's okay to you know have a black shotgun shell. Um, but if you're in a uh, more traditional, if you're wanting a more traditional shotgun shell, you can make these ones here. Um, all I've done is I've painted that same little black tube, uh, this one green and this one red, um, and I do that using a setup like this. So if you take a toothpick, you put a little piece of scotch tape around and fold it up like this, you can drop one of these little black tubes on the end there, um, and then you can spray it with your spray paint, um, and uh, you can get it from all angles. Um, just remember to keep uh, light coats and always spray paint in a well-ventilated uh, area. Um, another thing I'll mention about the spray paint too, uh, you can buy cheap, cheap spray paints at Walmart. Um, they're like 99 cents a can, and they will do uh, probably 10,000 of these, frankly. Uh, you don't need a ton of paint, obviously, because they are so small. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, you know, 99 cents can do, you know, 1,000 of these, 10,000 of these. Um, and then to finish them off, uh, what I'll do is I take these little brass pieces from um, you know from the spent casings and I'll set that inside the end of a tube let me get one that doesn't have one in there sorry they're so small um, so you just take it and you set it in there this is really hard to do through the viewfinder of the camera so you put it in there if you can actually get it to stick a little bit just like that and then I use a tiny hammer <clears throat> excuse me I'm losing my voice like this one to gently hammer that into the end of the plastic piece. Now, that does take an extra step. Um, so if you don't want to do that, I think they look fine without that little brass colored piece at the end. Um, and frankly, they're so small that it doesn't really show up. Um, so I would only do this to a few um, of them if you if you want to use them, you know, as a foreground piece or something like that where you know you're seeing a lot of detail. Um, and then leave the rest. Um, just solid, um, you know, solid black. Um, but either way, it's really easy to get a ton of these. Um, as you can see here, I've got a ton of them. 
and you don't need a ton for your display. Um, in the thumbnail of the, the video, um, I went a little heavy handed just so that you can actually see them um, in the thumbnail, um, but they really do stack up quickly um, and they do kind of get the point across that, you know, somebody's been firing, um, you know, a, you know, a gun um, in your display. Uh, same thing with the uh, shotgun shells, really easy. Um, you don't need very many of them at all to kind of get your point across. Um, so uh, if you like this review, go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section. Um, if you're interested in seeing how I made any of the other um, pieces from the thumbnail, like the sandbags um, and the pallets, I'm going to go ahead and link the uh, playlist um, for those videos down in the description section below. Um, and you, yeah, like I said, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below and I guess I'll uh, see you later.